the market forces who are worried about environmental protection laws, including endangered species protection, you know, infringing on property rights. They tend to take what I would say is an extreme view of what private property means. And that is one that, you know, it's my land. I own it. I can do whatever I want. And if you're trying to tell me what to do with my land, then you have to pay me for it. You know, you're infringing on my property rights. And that's a, a taking or in this instance, perhaps a regulatory taking. So the steps that are needed to protect the salamander are based around the idea that you need to keep most of the watershed that is privately owned in an undeveloped state, not covered with pavement, parking lots and highways and, and rooftops, and not developed with lawns, with fertilizers and, and whatnot. And so that was their concern. But our laws have always recognized the right of the government to regulate the use of private property in the public interest, especially where public resources are threatened. And our water is a public trust resource that we all own and we all depend upon. It's not a private property right. It's a public property right. And that comes first and foremost above private property rights. So we have every right to regulate the use of private land to protect our water and to protect our wildlife. Wildlife is also recognized as public trust property, if you want to call it property, uh, rather than fellow <laughs> beings on this planet that we share the water and, and the air with. But that's certainly our view that the law is 100% justified to regulate and even very strictly regulate what someone can do with their private property where there's a legitimate public purpose. And here, protecting water is at the top of that list of a legitimate public interest in, in restricting private property.